Hey there, it's Aaron. In this video, I want to have some fun with several different AI platforms using the same prompts, but I'm going to use single word prompts that I think is going to test the creative dynamic capabilities of each of these platforms. And I think it will just be interesting to see how each one interprets these prompts. So the platforms I'm going to be using are ClipDrop, which has Stable Diffusion XL version 0.9, Adobe Firefly text to image. Uh, Leonardo.ai, we're going to try several different rendering models here. And then finally, over in the Blue Willow platform, we're going to try the same prompts. So let's give this a shot. Um, so the first prompt that I have here is let's try Joy. Very interesting. So let's have a look at these images. Here we have like a girl dancing with an extra arm. This, no idea what's happening. Um, I have no idea what is happening here, but there's a figure here with a very deformed body. Interesting. Um, here is another picture of, of Joy, apparently. Um, it's a nice looking deer or elk or something. I'm not sure what this is here, but anyway, it's interesting. And then finally, these berries. Let's go ahead and try this one more time. Once again, some interesting looking images. Let's check this out. So, Joy, we have a woman standing out in the cold. She's freezing. That does not look very joyful to me. Here we have a very deformed bird. Another winter sort of scene here. Um, not sure what's happening here. So I'm calling this whole set fail, to be honest with you. It doesn't seem like this platform can handle a single word like that. I have a feeling that Adobe Firefly is going to provide the goods though. Let's go ahead and, and use that prompt here. Take off that art style. Let's see what Joy Beta brings to us here. Well, they look pretty pleased with themselves. Let's regenerate this because I think it picked up the art style. Let's find out. So here we have women, and I don't know if they're praying or it looks more like sort of meditating and they're in joyous ecstasy, I guess. Um, that's an interesting take. I was not expecting that. Let's refresh this again. Well, it's a different take on things this time. We still have female figures, but this time outside with arms mostly outstretched. Um, it's an interesting, especially the first image probably represents joy. Let's try another set. Interesting. So it seems as though each time it's sending back a different variation of what the theme of joy could mean. So here we have people celebrating Christmas. Let's try one more time since this is so interesting each time. Another Christmas scene here, this time at the office Christmas party. Interesting. So I guess um, it's, to me, it's very interesting to see how the AI is interpreting just that single word. Let's try it over here in Leonardo, where we can actually try several different AI rendering models at the same time. So let's just joy, and we'll try this with absolute reality version 1.6 we will also try it in Dream Shaper version 7, as well as RPG 4. And I'm going to hit it with the Leonardo Alchemy on RPG. And let's do Absolute Reality. Just want to mix things up a little bit. So we should have something coming back here from one of these sets. So here we have... That's very joyful, very joyful faces. Bit of a fail here in that mouth, but overall pretty cool image. That one's fun. Same here, that looks very joyful. Yeah, sure. So th that's interesting though. To me, this is more representative of what I thought joy might be. Um, here, variations on the same, just a different art style. Here again, variations on the same with a different art style. Let's see what the alchemies provide. 
Again, variation on the same theme, just in a different art style. And finally, here we go. So the alchemy sets have made things a little bit more dynamic, but really the images all look very much the same. And that's also interesting to me in the sense that the Adobe Firefly beta was kicking out a different variation each time where here it's really stuck with, I mean, ultimately it's just one post that's just in many, many variations. So I'm going to call that what it is. Um, interesting. Let's go over here to Blue Willow and I'll type in our base here. Imagine prompt and the prompt is joy. Let's submit that. This is some very generic looking result. Uh, lots of floral patterns and there's nothing even indicating happiness or anything like that. Maybe serenity, I guess, but I wouldn't say that anything here is representing joy in any way. So I'm going to call this set a fail. And let's go ahead and restart the process, but this time let's try a completely different prompt. And this one is going to be also very abstract. We're just going to put in creativity. And let's see how creative the AI can be with that prompt. Interesting. Let's check these creative results out. That is quite creative. It's frustrating that the AI always adds extra letters and things. It's almost like here's an example of what you could do. Uh, but definitely interesting. All sorts of different art supplies and things. That is pretty cool just with a pencil at the end of a pencil here. Um, yeah, that's a lot of fun. Let's see what else we have. Definitely a wild scene here that it's difficult to find anything in particular. Once you start looking deeply though, there are all sorts of figures and faces hidden throughout here. So that's kind of interesting. It is definitely creative in itself. Here again, these are more like what you would call editorial a little bit where it would be for something that goes alongside a blog post maybe, or something like that, a social post. Anyway, these are interesting. I love the uh, pencil ball light bulbs here. Ah, so it's like a light bulb with the idea being the art. Interesting. And finally, whatever is going on here with that mask on the head, um, very long pencil and some very cool art happening. Um, that's really 3D and the brush is coming out and it look looking like it's exploding. That's very cool, very creative. Let's try one more time. All right, so here we have another sort of composite deal of different art supplies and things. I think that that's actually kind of cool. Not really sure what this abstract item is, but it's very creative in itself. It's not very pleasing to the eye, I wouldn't say. Here we have what appear to be some art supplies mixed in with some other random, bizarre looking objects. And finally here, no idea. No idea what is going on here. We have a man with a deformed face doing something with a can. Um, here, buddy is near a whirlpool. Interesting. So definitely all very creative takes on the same word. Let's try over here in Adobe Firefly. Creativity. All right, so what have we got going on here? I'm not entirely sure, but interesting. I have no idea what that is. Here we have like a stream of consciousness thing that's going down here and then there's yarn. Very strange. Here, sort of a brain mushroom kind of deal with a figure, dark figure, walking towards it on what appears to be white rocks. Um, I'm perplexed. <laughs> it's very confusing stuff. Let's try one more time. All right, so this time more of here's some visual ideas that you could do with the word creativity. Let's try one more time. And, you know, continuing with the light bulb theme um, and the art supplies, it is interesting. These are all different takes and even though they're the same similar theme with each set that comes back, each one of them is quite unique. So that's pretty cool. But let's go over here to Leonardo.ai and we're going to try it 
creativity, Aaron. There we go. Absolute reality version 1.6. I'm running it in their alchemy mode, which tends to be quite creative in itself. And we'll also run it in Dream Shaper version 6. Let's give that a shot. Well, pretty wild stuff here. Let's check these out. Sort of an explosion of ideas. Not sure where the umbrella and the butterflies come into play, but who am I to judge someone's creativity? Interesting. Um, almost looks like a postman, kind of. Still the light bulb idea with the um, art supplies kind of coming out of there. Different. Similar to the first one, except instead of an umbrella, we got a something. And this is interesting, except that I feel like it should be coming out of his out of his head, maybe. Um, so here in this alchemy set, these are actually more interesting to look at. It's quite interesting. Here again with the postman. That's super cool. That's very interesting, kind of off-putting, but that's pretty wild. So I really like that image, and I think that's pretty cool too. I would probably get rid of this guy down here. But Leonardo delivered in this case. Let's try over in Blue Willow. Do imagine prompt creativity. Let's see what we have. Interesting. Each one is a unique take, which is kind of cool. That's different with all the little rolled paper. Art supplies here. A burst of color. And this person's creative head. As far as them being visually pleasing, they're not really earth shattering, but it definitely it did deliver. So why don't we repeat the process one more time? Let's try it with a different prompt. And this time, let's try mystery. Let's see these mysterious scenes. Sort of a, I guess, misty, mysterious feeling outdoor scene. Sure. Ooh, what, what lies behind the door of history, also known as mystery. A floating figure with a dog. Very unusual, and it is a mystery as to what's happening. And perhaps here are some detectives looking to solve the mystery. Very interesting. I'm going to jump right over to Adobe Firefly. And let's give mystery a shot here. You see this warning come back each time that the prompt is too short, and for best results I should use a longer prompt. I know that. We're testing. Let's check this out here. So here, mystery more like mystery religion. Wow, that's pretty wild. <laughs> a very interesting take on the word mystery. Let's try another set. Here we have the masked mystery people. Interesting take. Let's try another one. Well, a mysterious woman. This woman looks like she's hiding something, like she has a secret that she doesn't want to tell. I don't know if they would qualify to me as mystery, unless perhaps the lady's name is mystery. I don't know. Let's bring it over to Leonardo, and we'll try again with these alchemy mode renderings. So we'll do mystery in Dream Shaper version 7, and then again in the Absolute Reality version 1.6. Pretty cool. Let's check these out. Interesting. I'm not really sure how mystery is supposed to be communicated here. That in itself is the mystery. But there's some nice looking images. I'm not sure where it's getting this do arched doorway, walking through a doorway kind of deal. But that's pretty cool. Let's check these out. The same thing. I'm, I'm not sure what it is picking up on unless this person is entering some sort of a mystery movie scene kind of I don't know um, but just the same each time with the a lantern a very tall archway or object and then the figure sort of standing there in the center interesting so I'm not sure 
again, that is a mystery to me in terms of what the interpretation was. But let's give it a shot here in the blue willow. What have we got here? More floral tiles, a landscape, which is actually a pretty cool landscape. And then we have this little street scene. Doesn't really represent anything. When Blue Willow is having a hard time with things, it loves to just kick back these fl floral sort of plates as, well, here, we have to send you something. So, so that was the experiment. Um, what do you think? Do you think that these platforms can handle a single prompt and deliver something that is at least interesting? Which one did you think worked the best for this experiment? I was kind of surprised that Leonardo delivered the same results virtually each time with multiple rendering models. But in the end, I think that it did deliver the most dynamic looking images. So there you go. If you enjoyed the video, then like and subscribe to encourage me to make more of them. And with that, I will see you the next time.